So remember those manufacturing consent words? Here we go. Here's AOC clapping back. Oh, if anything, I've only gotten more ardent in my positions, but I do think it's funny that uh, all these folks that one day are like, keep your third eye open, manufacture consent, are the same ones who fall the fastest for these ploys to demoralize the left. Oh, if anything. These guys that are like, open your third eye and manufacturing consent are the first ones to fall for the ploy that will divide the left or whatever the left. It's like, what the freak are you talking about? You're telling me the people that pay attention to news media, you know, manipulating you know, information or using information in a certain way to get a certain thing going, a certain agenda going. Those guys are the ones falling for the ploy to divide the left. They're trying to separate me and Nancy when we, me and Nancy should be working together. It's like, no, no, they want Nancy gone because they understand the history of Nancy Pelosi. And she literally went on CNN and said, yeah, I knew they lied about Iraq, about uh, weapons of mass destruction, but uh, I didn't see any reason to impeach them over it. <laughs> like that on its face, that thing right there, you don't have to know anything else about Nancy Pelosi, that thing right there on its face should be like, what the freak? I mean, if she honestly means what she's saying, it's like, you're, you're the one who's been fucking duped. You're a stereotype. You're a cliche of the one. You were one way, then you got famous and you changed. The fuck was it? The people say, open your third eye. It's like, it's like, dude, you can't walk in that realm. The real, like, the real idea of that, she can't walk over there. Because she'd quit her job immediately and probably go live homeless for a while. Like, fuck, I need to, un I need to understand suffering. Oh, boy. I got this shit all wrong. Oh boy. I have this giant platform and I didn't even talk about this, 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 and this, and this. I haven't talked about the corruption of the people around me. I don't have to be like angry that someone's corrupt. All I have to do is point it out because people need to know. What other reasons are they voting? What are they voting on if they're not getting the actual product up front? So yeah, this childhood toy or this, you know, this child's toy has arsenic in it, but we won't say that and we'll let them buy it anyways. <laughs> That's what you're doing. Probably even worse than that. So yeah, this is a response to the article and everyone reacting to the political article talking about how she's becoming more establishment or whatever. And it's like, dude, this isn't about establishment. This isn't about it. Those are words that people are using. Oligarchy, empire, imperialism, establishment. It comes down to right and wrong, I think, for people. Deep down, I think that's where they're going. Right, and, right or wrong. Because you can have an establishment that's healthy, right? That's possible. Like these are the people we trust the most, and that's why they're always around. They're always here. These type of people are always there. They're established. They're the establishment. The problem is you have a bunch of fuck faces that are the establishment, and they make the world a worse place, I would say. So 
when they see you shaking hands and defending and mama bearing and all that shit, they're going to look at you like, who the fuck is this lady? It's like you're an embodiment of manufacturing consent. Right? You're getting the outsider, the outsider type that's like, fuck all these politicians. Oh, wait, but who's this chick that came out of nowhere, beat the establishment person, and now she's in Congress, and she's making noise, and she got a giant platform now. And it's like, oh, fuck, I was a part of that. It's like she's one of us, just working there with amongst the creepers. And then you tell them, like, no, 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 Nancy's not bad. Nancy's not a bad person. Go vote Cuomo. Go vote Biden. Vote blue no matter who. Bernie bros. Misogyny. Right? And it's like... Like you would be the embodiment of manufacturing consent. Because now you're getting... you're trying. It seems like you're trying to get the outsider to just shut up and join the coalition. As... Uh, what's his name? The, the Cajun alien says... What's his name? James Carville. That fuck face. So yeah, people started making a, a hoorah about this video clip and AOC's response to that. I said what I said. I said what I said. It's like, you wouldn't survive around real people. You wouldn't make it. You have to wear, you have to, you have to play a character on TV to get by in life now. Because unless you have a Massive epiphany to where you seek some form of redemption. Like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize they were tricking me the whole time. Or, I'm sorry, guys. I was trying to screw you over, but I've, I've changed my ways. Or, you know what, guys? I was trying to, you know, turn turn back the clock and get people to just vote left and right again. Rather than principles first. Instead of morals first, it's, you know... uh Republican Democrat. We're Democrats. We're good. Just trust us. <laughs> it's like, see, you're probably thinking you're changing Nancy Pelosi. Maybe, maybe you're thinking that. But people are looking at you like Nancy Pelosi is changing you. And when I say Nancy Pelosi, I mean the person. I mean, like, that's like a, I'm saying that as like a symbol for this whole thing happening. For the whole establishment thing. So it's like people are just going to say fuck you. The people who like. With clear minds picked you. As a person to be a leader. With a clear mind picked you. You're like, Oh this person means well. And yeah she's different. She's going to change things up. She's pro finally going to fight for righteousness. They're going to look at you. And they're going to fucking despise you. More than they despise a Joe Biden. Or a Nancy Pelosi. It's like, oh, we already know it. We already knew what they were, but you going out of your way and try and trick us into becoming that thing? It's like you're worse than they are. People are gonna say that. Obviously, AOC will never see this video. She will never talk to me one on one. You think uh, people evading Jimmy Dore's bad? Like, none of these mother freakers will come here. I don't even think Jimmy Dore would come here. Like, it's hard times over here. Just saying. I don't think they want to come this way. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'll get a clap tweet. No, I won't. I won't. Best thing to do with something that's, like, you want no part of is just ignore it. Like, like battle rappers, right? Or not battle, just rappers in general, right? When they have a beef with someone... And they're a little bit higher up on the totem pole. Like, everyone socially knows who they are. But who's this fucking, you know, underground dude that wants to battle me? It's like, just ignore him like he's not there. Save me the headache. <laughs> That's not being braggadocious, by the way. I'm just being honest with you. And, like, the questions I would ask, she wants no fucking part of. Zero fucking part of it. There's normal people that don't want these fucking questions asked. I've seen it. But, uh, alright. I guess that's it for me. Please subscribe if you like. Comment, agree, disagree. Tell me what you think. 
uh, you know, is Bernie just a piece of driftwood just floating down the water with no real pushback at all, just floats? Or uh, did he say the right thing? Or is, or is, is it all the blame on Whoopi Goldberg? You know, or her producers who probably write her shit for her, write her questions for her, write her tone for her. Even her tone, they probably write it for her. Like, no, no, when he, if he tries to pivot, just keep asking that question. If you got to get a little bit more stern about it, do that. Uh, also, comment about AOC and her, uh, her clapback. Her uh, very welcomed clapback. Don't forget to donate. Devin's Journey to Recovery GoFundMe link in the description box. And with all that said, give this video a thumbs down. Say you wanna get him.